Okay, there are uh, many uh, known risk factors for acute bronchiolitis. First of all, uh, comor comorbidities, so children that has uh, chronic lung disease, uh, uh, cardiological defect uh, or immunodeficiency. Also, uh, very uh, severe uh, preterm baby may have a severe bronchiolitis. And there are other conditions like uh, the age of the child, Usually, if it's uh, uh, lower than three months of age, they have a higher risk to have a severe bronchiolitis, passive smoke, and those kids that uh, do not receive uh, uh, breastfeeding are uh, at higher risk to develop uh, the disease. There are a lot of challenges in the treatment of uh, this uh, acute disease of uh, young uh, uh, infants, because at the moment there is not really a, a treatment for the disease. There are no medication that can work in this disease, so there are a lot of studies uh, looking for uh, medication that can uh, improve the uh, respiratory status of these children, like antiviral or uh, medication that can dissolve the mucus tract that uh, usually uh, these children have in the respiratory and terminal bronchiolitis. Uh, it is well known uh, from more than 100 years that uh, bronchiolitis is associated to the development of wheezy bronchitis or asthma, but it's still not uh, known if it's the virus that uh, uh, changes the immunological status of the child and uh, uh, makes the child prone to develop wheezy bronchitis or asthma, or if the virus just uh, identifies a child that has a genetic predisposition for these uh, uh, side effects like asthma and with bronchitis. I think that uh, at the moment the most important uh, treatment advance is the use of uh, oxygen delivery with a high flow nasal canal oxygen delivery because at the moment uh, there are no really uh, medications that are useful in the treatment of these children. There have been some studies showing that uh, hypertonic saline was useful in the management of these children, but uh, two randomized uh, big uh, studies have shown that there is no effect of also of hypertonic saline. I think that uh, the most uh, uh, important study should uh, uh, in a way study the immunological response uh, to uh, the virus and mainly to RSV because uh, in this way it would be possible to develop uh, uh, immunological strategies like uh, immunization against uh, BORS to uh, prevent uh, the uh, development of uh, bronchiolitis.